Before 2000, this type of discharge was routine in our city and caused significant pollution to our rivers and streams, making fishing and boating an unpleasant or even unhealthy experience. But now, thanks to Detroit's combined sewer overflow facilities, our rivers and streams are much cleaner. Hi, I'm Palencia Mobley, the Deputy Director and Chief Engineer for the Detroit Water and Sewage Department. And today, I'm here at the Seven Mile CSO Retention Treatment Basin. You may ask, why do we need combined sewer overflow facilities? Detroit is a leader when it comes to combined sewage overflow control. Detroit, like many older urban communities, has a combined sewer system. That means rainfall and snow melt run off of driveways and rooftops, enters catch basins, and then enters the sewer system. The same sewer system that flows go to when you flush your toilet. During a large rainfall event, when flows can't make it to the wastewater treatment plant, those combined flows are diverted into our wet weather treatment facilities or combined sewer overflow basins. At these facilities, the flow is either retained and treated and then discharged to the river, or it is screened and treated and discharged to the river. Through the use of combined sewer overflow facilities, Detroit has been able to eliminate 95% of untreated combined sewage from entering the Detroit and Rouge rivers. However, to combat the last 5% of the issue, Detroit is now trying to use green infrastructure to manage stormwater differently. TWSD has taken great strides to provide customers with the highest quality of water and protect our natural resources. Investments in wet weather treatment and green infrastructure practices will keep our rivers clean and help make Detroit one of the greenest cities in the nation.